Hi, this is Shadi, and today I have a short one for you. It's been a while since I've discussed Mongolian wrestling or Mongolian boch. So today I want to share with you a throw that, in my opinion, it is very devastating compared to the foot sweeps that they do or the hip throws that they do. So this one, and particularly if you want to do it in the grasslands, it's very devastating. So let's take a look at it. So you have two guys grip fighting. He grips the belt while he has his grip underneath the armpit, ducks his head underneath and then goes back into a, I would put it in the family of Kataguruma. So he grips the belt, it is very thick and it's part of the jacket while gripping with the other hand like the other fighter is gripping, puts his head underneath the armpits, squats down, lifts uh, with the shoulders and neck and then gets the throw backwards so here you see how deep down he goes gets him on his shoulders and then throws back you see he's gripping the belt and he's gripping the back of the shoulder uh, with the opening of the jacket so in the past in the old jujutsu days this as you see here in front of you was one of the variations of kata guruma so you are wheeling over the shoulders but backwards um, it's a double leg variation it is very devastating because there's simply no control. You just let let go. It's very easy for someone to fall on their heads. Um, today, a lot of people you see attempting in competition this one with the double sleeve variation. I would say this is the closest thing to the Mongolian throw as possible. But he's gripping the belt and the back of the sleeve. So. If you have anything else to add, please let me know down below. I thought I'd make a short one for you today about this, this throw. So if you have anything else to add, please let me know down below. This was Shadi and thank you for listening.